Creating an app with Alchemy is super easy, and it provides you with an API key that you can use to make requests to the Ethereum blockchain. From the dashboard homepage, navigate to the Apps tab and select Create App. From here, we can easily generate our API key by selecting just four parameters. First, we'll want to name our app. It's good practice to split up your project into different apps to both distribute your traffic and prevent the product from crashing if one aspect has a bad error. The common practice is to separate front-end and back-end traffic, as well as development, staging, and production, but we'll talk more about this in a little bit. Let's say we just want to create a back-end development app. In the name field, we'll name our app accordingly. Next, we can write a short description for our app this doesn't really matter too much and is more for your team's bookkeeping. We'll go ahead and write backend for app. Next, we'll choose the app's environment. The environment for your app helps distinguish between apps that are live, being tested on servers, or continuing to be developed. In our case, development will make the most sense since we're not actually ready to test or push to production. Lastly, we'll want to choose our network. The main net is the real-time Ethereum blockchain. This is where things are live and fully shipped to production, and where you're dealing with real money. The other networks are what is known as testnets. Testnets are great for sampling projects and code without having to spend real money writing to the blockchain. Everyone has their own preferences on what testnets they like best. For now, we'll go ahead and choose Coban as our testnet, so we can test things out without costing real money. Once we've filled out each field, we can go ahead and create our app. Now, when we scroll down to the table view of all our apps, we can see our backend development app created right at the bottom. If we select our app, we can see that there's no data since we've just created it. But once we're ready to start building, we can click View Key and copy the HTTP or WebSocket API key into our code, and then start building.